My name is Anna Murphy, and I am a natural dye artist. Today I'm going to be showing you how I dye cotton using natural dyes. In particular, cochineal beetles. Cochineal is the number one natural food and cosmetic dye in the entire world. It gives beautiful shades of orange, pink, red, and purple. Also, we're going to be throwing in some old flowers to show you how you could potentially reuse flowers from special occasions in your work. Today, you will need tea bags, some dried flowers or fresh flowers, cochineal beetles, cotton pre-washed, a pot, some saran wrap, a glass bowl, water, a little bit of counter space, and some sort of vessel to put some water and tea bags in later on. Fill up your sink or bowl or pot with hot water. This is where you're going to put your tea bags and your fabric. First, put all of your tea bags in the hot water. Steep them for about 45 minutes to an hour. You want a nice strong tea. What this does is release the tannins from the tea bags. Tannins act like a glue to allow the dye to want to adhere to the fabric. Cotton and linen are something called cellulose fibers. Cellulose means comes from plants. Cellulose fibers don't really like to accept natural dyes, so they need a little bit of help. And this is where the tanning comes in. After you have a nice strong tea, put your washed fabric into the tannin bath slash tea bag bath and let it sit for about an hour. Yes, your fabric will turn a little yellow. While our fabric is steeping in the tea, let's prepare the best part, our insects. We source our dried cochineal beetles from a BC distributor called Maiwa. Maiwa only sources the best quality cochineal beetles from sustainably harvested resources. We buy them whole and dry because it is the most cost-effective way to purchase. They are very expensive, but have such a great punch. Today, we are going to be taking our whole cochineal beetles and putting them into a mortar pestle and grinding them by hand. Grind your cochineal beetles until they are from the whole insect to a fine powder. Now that we have our beetles into a powder, take your fabric out of the tannin bath. Give it a squeeze. It should still be wet, but not dripping. Lay it on your counter. You certainly can put down plastic if you like. Using your fingers or a spoon, sprinkle the beautiful cochineal powder over your fabric. You will already begin to see the dye coming out of the beetles. Also, pull apart some of those flowers you have and sprinkle them along. If you don't have any flowers, try onion skins. They print very well. Next, roll your fabric into a small bundle with all the dye facing in and wrap it in saran wrap, nice and tight. Next, lay your glass bowl on top of your simmering pot. Make sure that the bowl is definitely out of the water. Lay your small wrapped package into the bowl and cover it again with saran wrap. This will create a bit of a steamer. Steam your beautiful little dyed fabric for approximately 45 minutes. This will allow for all of the dyes to properly sit in the fabric. After your piece has been steaming for at least 45 minutes, turn off your stove and let your pot and piece of fabric cool. This is important so you do not burn yourself. When it has cooled, remove the package from the saran wrap, try to get rid of any of the organic material into the trash, and wash your piece in cool water. It will seem like a lot of dye is coming out, but don't worry, that's supposed to happen. After you rinse it in cool water, hang it to dry, and wait to see what your beautiful piece has done. All of the little prints that you see on the fabric are actually from the individual insects. It is amazing what color can come from something like an insect. Natural dyes have been around for thousands of years and are in many museums. It's so special to get to learn about a natural pigment and bring it into your craft. It is amazing what colors can come from nature, and I'm always so surprised how I can really work with the colors and how it changes with my mood. Cochineal is my favorite natural dye, and I'm so glad to share it with you.